A red face are typical rosacea patients, like we call them, once diagnosed as a rosacea patient, they can present themselves with different symptoms. The most common is the persistent redness that manifests itself on the forehead, the nose, the cheeks, while saving the periorbital and the periocular area. This is the primary symptom of a red face. Sometimes patients present on top of the erythema with a form of acne where you see inflammatory lesions in the regions where you have the erythema or the redness. Some patients also have the so-called flushing transient redness that comes and goes based to external triggering factors. There is also an ophthalmologic version of uh, rosacea where patients have a chronic conjunctivitis and then the last form that we see is the form where also the nose is involved and you see like an enlarging especially of the nose top. So most patients are a mixture of one of those symptoms. The most common are the redness, the inflammation and the flushing. Now, if we want to treat a patient that comes in with one or several symptoms of a red face, uh, one common demeanor they all have is that their skin barrier function is impaired. And that is relatively new. We did not pay a lot of attention before, but now in any form of a red face, what the consensus is, is to recommend our patients to restore that skin barrier because an impaired skin barrier is one of the causes of chronic inflammation that triggers and maintains the redness. So what we usually recommend is good gentle cleaning of the skin combined with a hydrating cream that has the aim to restore the skin barrier. This is important in all cases of patients that present with red face. Then the different treatment modalities depend on the symptoms with which they present. Depending on the symptoms, you're going to define the optimal treatment modality, whether it is solitary or combined. So if a patient presents herself or himself with mainly broken vessels, your number one go-to is the use of vascular lesion-specific lasers or intense pulsed light sources that have the uniqueness of selectively destroy the dilated vessels. Also, if you have a patient that on top has this diffuse redness or the flushing, one of the treatment modalities is the laser, but we often combine it with a topical that causes a vasoconstriction of the tiny little microvessels to reduce the flushing. If you have a patient that presents with a more inflammatory form of rosacea, then the number one treatment modality are topical medications based on metronidazole or ivermectin. You can use them as monotherapy or, if necessary, also in combination with antibiotics.